guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be making an egg pie or I guess you can call it a quiche so I'm gonna start by chopping up some green and red bell pepper I feel like if you watch my videos and y'all know the drill I love bell pepper <laughs> so I feel like I'm always using green and red bell pepper but you literally can use any type of veggies that you have on hand you're pretty much gonna chop them all up and saute them in a pan which you'll see later I also chopped up a fourth of a white onion and set it aside with my bell peppers now I'm just drying off my mushrooms so it's really important to wash mushrooms because they're fungus so you really want to make sure you're washing them good but the key is to dry them all the way out um, because the main reason people don't like mushrooms is because they can get really slimy and that's because water mushrooms produce so much water so it's important to dry it out completely before cutting it up and cooking it so just a little tip there Then I cut up some green onion. I use the whole onion. So I cut off like the white and light green parts of it because it's like harder. And I cook it up with my harder vegetables. And then I just take the remaining green onion, which is the soft part, like the darker green part. And I saute that with my softer veggies. Off camera, I cut up some sweet potatoes and just sauteed them in the pan until they got soft. Now I'm gonna add in my hard veggies and just cook them down until they're a little bit softer. When I'm eating like an egg type dish, I typically like my vegetables to be um, way softer than if I was eating them some other way. So I cook these down for probably like seven to 10 minutes. Then I added some salt here. I also, I don't know where the rest of my clips are, but I added black pepper, smoked paprika, some basil, and I feel like I used something else. <laughs> But my clips, I don't know where they went. But just make sure that you season your veggies with whatever you like. And then I added the soft vegetables in here. Then I just pre-baked the pie crust. So it just told me to, um, I think it was only 350. Bake it on 350 for 10 minutes. Then I forgot that I wanted to add in some turkey meat like vegan turkey meat to make it more of like a ham and cheese or like turkey and cheese I guess um, vibe and then that's really it for the veggies you just let them cook up get soft super simple super easy y'all know that's how we are on this channel but anyway let's just go ahead and get to this egg mixture so you can really use um, Pretty much anything that you would use to make like a tofu scramble or anything like that you could use chickpea flour you could use um tofu you just like to blend it down in like a food processor or something like that but i like to use just egg because to me it gives just like the most eggy flavor i feel like so you could really leave it like this and just like dump it into your pie crust like this but I like to give it just a little bit more of a seasoning kick it up a notch so I added in some smoked paprika some black pepper 
and then I'm going to add black salt just to give it a tad more of an eggy flavor. Like, this is totally optional, but it will change your life. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And also, it's super, like, potent, so you really don't need that much. I just literally pinched some in and it did the job. Now you're literally just going to dump your veggies into the pie crust. I ended up having leftovers which was great so I was able to just dump that into like my breakfast the next morning so always love when you get some leftovers. And then you dump your eggs just all over <laughs> your veggies, it literally is so simple, um, self explanatory. The only thing is it takes like 45 minutes to 50 minutes to bake, but if you just, you know, already know you're going to make it and you just get up ahead of time and get it going, you really can just sit back and relax and let it cook. And then y'all know I love me some cheese, so optional, but not optional if you know what I mean. <laughs> And like I said, you're going to bake on, actually I'm trying to read the clock and I think it's 400. Bake on 400 for about 45 minutes. And you know, just keep checking on it. Make sure you don't overdo it. And this is how it looked coming out of the oven. We actually made a little charcuterie board. I think this was Easter weekend. My sister made these really cute strawberry roses. We have blueberry waffles, some pineapple, blueberries, and this is what it looks like cut up. So freaking good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.